Good morning, folks. Last 24 hours on our star gave us a couple things to see. After the filament release we showed yesterday morning, another filament out ahead of it released nicely. Again, due north is the direction, and it will not be geo-effective. Actually, a third little filament snapped just a field of the second one there. Both CMEs are now easily visible on SOHO LASCO coronagraphs, both heading north away from our planet. We also had a small filament destabilize just in the last few hours, but appears to have simply been broken down in the corona rather than released as a CME. We'll eye all these filaments moving forward. The solar flaring hasn't hit C range in about a day. Nothing to be excited about, and the sunspots currently appear unable to develop into anything noteworthy. Please remember, we're currently between heliocentric geometries, with the next chance for a solar uptick coming soon as Saturn and the Sun will oppose the Earth, a significant lineup during which time Earth will also be about to see Mercury conjoin Mars, should be an interesting lead up to next weekend. Solar wind, that's the speed continuing to drop out in yellow, but down there in green we see plasma temperature surge from 1000 to more than 10,000 Kelvin. We deliver a twirl in the phi angle of the solar wind as well. Sensitive flux catching a ding from that fluctuation, but Earth's shield can handle that all day long. The coronal hole that wasn't, finally being shown to be more than just a dot on Iswa. It is departing, however, while the next coronal holes come in down south, red, negative polarity, but also, these are not easily visible on the SDO satellite. We'll have to keep watch on this. Super Typhoon Dolphin, somewhat more easily visible. What a leviathan. It is a terrific thing that this will miss Japan. I hope they know how lucky they're going to be this week. Iwoto, however, not going to be so lucky. Top link today is to NASA's scientific visualization studio at Goddard. Every hurricane track for years with emphasis on the lack of major storms hitting the U.S. for nine straight. Link found below. Eyes on the central states as the convergence line off that power low began dropping more tornadoes, more bad storms, hail, and flash flooding. That is the sort of event that's bad even before it gets bad. If you were outside in this, you could have been killed. Anyway, it's going to continue tonight. That heat and moisture flow continues bringing the energy in as the low shifts only slightly eastward, bringing another line of insanely dangerous weather tonight. In Europe, lighter day for the north as the flow off the Atlantic fades, but lets the southern system enter center stage for the top alerts tonight set to come to the Mediterranean. Both that and the weak and northern flow are easily visible. Down under, we've still got that high pressure clearing, but it moves east slightly and the convergence from yesterday stemming from that same low is now at the coastline. Going to be a bit of a wetter one for Western Australia. Still on baby watch, folks. It appears Kronos is going to preside over the birth of my daughter. That's nice. If I don't show up for the morning news in the next few days, it will be most likely due to labor and birth. Send my wife some love, would ya? These are your current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.